Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the weekly contest 434, maximum product of first and last elements of a subsequence. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me in Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. I mean, this one I saw relatively quickly. I still, I, I think I ran into some issues with off by ones or something. That's why it took four minutes. And, and even then, like, I felt like I was a little bit slow. I think this was uh, a very straightforward observation problem. Not to say it's easy, but you have to make one critical observation, and that is, what is the definition of subsequence? And the idea behind subsequence is that, um, well, in this particular problem, the subsequence itself does not matter, right? So you only have the first element, and you have the last element, and then you multiply them, and you try to maximize. It's a very weird problem, and honestly, I think now that I remember it a little bit better, uh, or my thought process, I did spend a minute trying to understand this problem because I thought this was too easy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, or maybe not too easy, but just like, I want to make sure that my understanding is correct because I thought, yeah, like it, it would be too silly for this. And it turns out that it was just too silly, to be frank. Um, but yeah, uh, and the idea here is just that for every element, if m is equal to 1, then you have no space in between, so it's element with itself. If m is equal to 3, that means that as long as there's one... Uh, uh, if, if, for example, for the sex, it can be any prefix uh, two spaces away, right? Because it's six, five, and then you know you put one number here, and then now all the numbers on the left are available to multiply. So that means that in a way you could use well sliding windows, right? Six, and uh, then you take the either the max or the min of the prefix. A negative four. Now you know you slide. You get five on the on the left now to the new as well, uh, and you just kind of keep track of the max and the min. And you should be pretty happy. Um, that's it. Yeah. And when you have the max and the min, and the reason why you have the min is because you have negative numbers. You want to multiply the min. You could say the max of the negative numbers. If you uh, that's max of the absolute value of a negative number. That makes it a little bit more understandable in terms of like why. But uh, but yeah, this the actual subsequence doesn't matter. So now you have the first number and the last number, and you just try to maximize the product. And that's it. Maybe you even keep just keep track of the positive numbers and the negative numbers. And honestly, um, the way that I solved it is n log n, but I I wasn't sure that I didn't need it to be a little bit better. So that's why I kind of did it this way with a sorted list. And the reason why I wanted a sorted list is that, well, I could get the biggest number and the smallest number. But of course, this is not necessary, right? Because, uh, um, because when we're only adding number, and when you only add number, you don't need a heap or a sorted list to maintain the min and the min max, right? Um, for some reason, I thought maybe I was playing around with some, because the, the problem does say subsequence, I thought maybe I have to play around with some subsequence thing. Uh, and by the time I did, I was like, yeah, whatever, it's fine, uh, right? So we let's up solve it while we can. Uh, while we can, it sounds like I'm dying, but no, no, uh, we're here, let's up solve it. But actually, we, let's go over the code real quick, right? But it's exactly what I said, which is that for i is equal in n, right? We look at the number that is this number away, which is just m minus one, and then sub the index that is m minus one uh, previously, right? And that's kind of where we got the sliding window kind of idea. And then we just added the sorted list, and the sorted list will give us this max and the min, and that's it. I think this thing is a little bit helpful to have it in a sorted list, but that's really it. Um, otherwise, you should be able to do it without sorted list. You could just keep track of the max and the min. Uh, maybe you have something like uh, count is equal to zero. Uh, you could have max is equal to zero. Min is also equal to zero because I, the reason why zero is fine here is because you want a maximal negative number or whatever, right? So zero would all, still already be no brand anyway. Um, but yeah, and then now here we have this, then uh, you have that number, uh, let's just say previous, P for previous is equal to this number, and then we have max is equal to max, max MXP, min is equal to min of MNP, and then uh, just say increment by count, you could be, and the reason I have it just so that I could do it here, I mean you could even use a boolean value obviously, and then here uh, we, th this is max, and this is min, right, and that should be good. Uh, we don't de decorate this sorted list. We want it real quick. Uh, quick submit. Hopefully no. S Ooh. Did I mess something up? 
Hello, warm answer. I don't know. I, I don't know why this UI is a little bit confusing, but uh, uh, like I'm clicking on it and it's not showing me anything. Hmm. Thanks, lead code. Uh, and I refresh. It does this. Uh, I, I don't. I mean, talking in the code is fine, but I'm. I know what the code is. I'm. I'm trying to. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, negative one, one, two, zero. Oh, okay. So I was wrong. I mean, that's fine. Uh, maybe having a sorted list is better than in that case, right? Um, but uh, yeah, the reason why is because my best is going to be min. It's going to be zero because negative. Yeah, so I do need this to be infinity and negative infinity, I suppose. Wait, does that work? Uh, where's the uh, use test case? I don't know where the run button is. Oh, it's right here. It's kind of confusing. Okay, so then now, yeah, I just want to verify that this works. And let's give it a quick submit. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> it is what it is, right? But, um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, I mean, I, I thought I could do get away with zero, but clearly I was wrong. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, right? But in any case, idea is still the same. Uh, get the max and the min, and now though, without the sorted list in which these are uh, add, actually, I think in the sort of least list, this was still all one. It's just that adding to it was the log n. So it makes it n log n. But now that we reduced it, um, this is all of n and all of one extra space. And we are pretty happy, right? Uh, or all of one space in general, right? All of n time, all of one space. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And you can watch me solve it live in the contest now. Okay. That was easier than Q1 for me, apparently. Um, okay, maximum part of the first last time of a subsequent. First and last time of a subsequent. What does that mean? We turn the maximum part of the first and the last elements of subsequence of nums of size M. Okay, M is equal to three. Oh, so, but there's subsequence though, right? So it's a little bit weird. Uh, maximum product. It's a very weird one. I feel like there's a very easy solution. I mean, I don't know that I know it. But I'm just saying that there is should be an easy one. Um, right. Um, Yeah, okay, so then um, So then now They're just sliding windows, right? So for, um, Num sub i minus m Is getting Add it. Well, one is zero, so then it would add itself. So that's fine. So then here. So then here we want to add this to the sorted list. And then now, num sub i, we either times it by the maximum. Or the minimum, right? Mm, did I get that wrong? Minimum, right? Okay. I mean, 
Maybe I'm off by one. I minus M. Oh, 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 I see. Uh, okay, that's what. Uh, okay, well, we fixed this one, but this one, not so much. Why? Uh, okay, so at six, it can take. That's already wrong. No, 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 it's at one. Why is six in there? Oh, because I go on. Uh, okay, that is just me being dumb. But that should give me a better answer, though, right? And not a worse answer. So I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Eighty. Okay, actually, that's fine. I guess I was getting a bigger answer. Uh, yellow submit. I mean, n log n should be fine, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I mean, we're making up a little bit for the fact that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about well, this problem, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.